Looking at the art of François de Nomé, André Breton recognized it as inspirational for the Surrealist movement. He admired its enigmatic aspect, finding in it the sense of magic that was so dear to him. A native of Metz in Lorraine, de Nomé was active in Italy in the early 17th century, working in Rome and Naples, before falling into oblivion for centuries. He was at his most original and truly distinct from his contemporaries in his repertoire of architectural forms, depicting towers, palaces and churches, symbols of temporal and spiritual power, he gave free rein to his imagination, inventing whimsical, orientalizing worlds. De Nomé created this strange visionary decoration as a setting for a procession of small-scale figures, representing Agrippina departing for Rome with the ashes of the imperial general Germanicus. A ceremonial ship awaits Agrippina the Elder and her children as she fulfills this gesture of conjugal fidelity. Throughout, expressive little figures move about, echoing the sculptures both in relief and in the round, and further conveying a measure of the fantasy that fueled the creative process of this remarkable artist. <laughs> 